Do you use Microsoft Office? Are you trying to figure out what's the difference between Teams and SharePoint? Well, let's take a look at some of the similarities and differences. So what's the same in these two products? Well, both of them are online collaborative communication and sharing platforms. And both of them are part of Microsoft Office 365 and they use the same groups and files within Office 365. So that icon on the top left, that's the SharePoint icon that you can see inside Teams when you're looking at your SharePoint folders. And that Teams icon at the top is the Teams icon that you can see in SharePoint when you're using the same groups. Because groups are at the heart of how these and related collaborative products in Office 365 work together. So for example, Notebook, Outlook, Calendars, and Files are all linked together on the online server. And as you can see, they look kind of similar. There's Teams at the top, there's SharePoint at the bottom, and we are looking at the same folders which are stored online that both programs have access to. So what's the difference? Well, Teams is a computer or mobile app only. It's not available in the web, unlike most of the other Office 365 applications. And the focus for Teams is on communication, features like chat, video conferencing, and the calendar. So SharePoint is web-based only. It's only available in the web browser, and there is no standalone application. And its focus is on sharing and managing files, libraries, lists, and pages. So maybe it's helpful to see what that looks like in the program. So Teams allows you to make calls and has a voicemail ability. Another really useful feature of Teams is the chat ability, which you can use for chatting with individuals or within groups. You can also use Teams to make video calls, including doing webinars and live streams. And there's the calendar feature, which is integrated with Teams and is the same calendar we use in Outlook. SharePoint's taskbar illustrates its key features distinct from Teams. A home page where you can view sites, typically internal sites for your organization, and read news posts, again, from inside your organization and work with files. That includes the ability to create some of the key file types, lists, document libraries, and pages. So use Teams for communicating and sharing with individuals and teams. Use SharePoint for its wide array of communication, collaboration, and information management tools. To summarize, Teams is for communication and SharePoint is for collaboration. Use Teams to team up and use SharePoint to share.